Alright guys, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to your galaxy map and you want to find Ross 584. This is the system that we are looking for. This is going to net you a lot of modified embedded firmware as well as uh, cracked industrial firmware and some other um, uh, less valuable um, encoded materials. Okay, so once you get to Ross 584 you want to go to system map, okay? And you want to go to the first planet, second moon, and then if we go to the second moon, you're gonna look for binder, beacon, and three, what are those, pluses on it? Okay, so this is a tiny bit complicated than gathering other resources, but it's not that big a deal. It's really not. Um, once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to do this in no time flat. All right, so you're going to want to land near where I'm at, okay? And when you're out in your S SRV, you want to make sure that most of the satellites over there are on the left to give you a sort of frame of reference for where you first need to go to, okay? So let's say we land here, and we're going to head on up to the first uh, beacon. Now... These little rocks here will mess you up, so you want to make sure, I'm terrible at driving the SRV by the way, um, you want to make sure that you try to avoid them because this is a timed sort of deal um, and they'll mess your trajectory up to where you're heading to, but it's really, it, it's not that much pressure. Uh, they give you more than enough time to, to hit all the beacons. And the way it works is, is that you have to hit all the beacons in a certain time and then once you get to the very last one, it will give you your materials that you are looking for. So we're going to drive up here. You see where those purple, I guess, what are those, electrical outages are? You want to go um, directly to the right of those. Make sure the two pyramids are over on your right there. Okay, that'll give you a frame of reference for where you need to go. Okay, you see that sort of slanted uh, structure right there? You want to go underneath it. Alright, there is our first beacon. Now, what you want to sort of do is position yourself out this way a little bit. Because the second one's going to be right where that pyramid is. So you hit your whatever button you're using to go into turret mode and then you scan the first beacon okay and you're gonna see a timer pop up don't worry about it it's not that big a deal see the time there so we have to hit each beacon and um, within that time frame but when you hit another beacon it adds more time so you've got more than enough time to hit all these so you go over here to the left Here's our second beacon. Uh, got a little closer than what I wanted to. All right. Now we want to turn around here. This is where it gets a little tricky, okay? Because you're going to see two sets of pipelines over here. Once we get closer to them, I'll point them out to you. See that pipeline straight ahead? There's also one to the right over there. You can't see it that well because of the terrain, but you do not want to go to the right one. You want to go to the one straight ahead. And then once you hit one of these bumps, you want to immediately hold on your thrusters and then hit your thruster to give you a safe fall down. Turn to the right. See these pipes right here? That's another another landmark for your frame of reference. All right, slow down. Here's our third beacon. All 
Alright, then we're going to go straight ahead here. Now we cross over this pipeline. Okay, and we do the same thing that we did before. Uh, I hate the SRV. Hit this bump, and then jettison over it. Now we go over to this pyramid right here. Here's our, I believe it's our fourth beacon. Alright, now you want to turn right at these rocks. You see that panel straight ahead that I'm pointing at? You want to head directly towards that. And when you get close to this thing, you'll see a beacon through the wall. If I can get out from being stuck here. See it pop up? Okay, now you want to target it go into your turret and scan it. Now, it's not guaranteed that every scan of this last one you'll get um, okay. So, okay, so you see at the right I got modified embedded, embedded firmware. What I've noticed is that usually every other other scan of this last beacon you end up getting it. So then all you do is um, after you're done with that you turn around here Turn to your right. And we are back right where we started. Then from there, you want to exit out, out of the game, choose solo mode, and then redo it over and over and over until you get the amount of modified industrial firmware that you want. It also gives crack industrial fir firmware as well. Um, one thing to note is that you do want to make sure that you have some materials to synthesize um, repair, SRV repair, and refuel while you're out here because those jumps sometimes will damage your SRV. Okay, so I uh, hope this helps you guys. Like and comment, please, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the flip side.